but I want to welcome you to the Southern Four Wheel Drive Association question and answer for Trail Fest. So we've got some board members that are on. If you'll just post the questions in the uh, comment section, Al's going to try to capture all those questions. Then we have got uh, Darlene, we've got Aaron, we've got Pam, all here um, to answer your questions. The very first question, will there be ice cream at Trail Fest? And I have checked with my sources, and there will be ice cream at Trail Fest. Um, you know, I can probably even take special requests at this point. Um, we'll probably have ice cream sandwiches and popsicles and, you know, a few other, other things. That's probably the reason why people go to, um, you know, to, to Trail Fest for the ice cream. So just to let you know. This registration is going to be closing fairly soon. Um, so make sure that if you haven't registered, you register. Uh, we need to know that information. Um, we need to know that you're coming. Um, I know some people can't plan till last minute. And, and oh, we've got, even got some uh, ice cream recommendations. I will see what I can do. Um, so make sure you're registered. It helps us with trying to figure out how many, how many, how much food we need to plan for, how much other stuff we need, uh, et cetera. So I know a lot of times people register on the spot. Um, where to line up for my guided trail ride? That's a, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Pam because y'all listen to me too much. So Pam, how are, um, how are we going to line up for the trail rides and when should we line up? Okay, the guided trail rides, if you are not familiar with AOP, when you come into AOP, you're going to go to your main spot is where you're going to be doing your registration. It's a little building there as soon as you come in. You are going to go towards the pavilion. And to the left of the pavilion, there's going to be flags and lane set up that's going to have your signs for your specific ride. So if you're facing the pavilion, it's going to be to the left. And then if your ride is scheduled to say, say your ride is scheduled at 9 o'clock, you need to be in line, air down, disconnected, ready to go, no less than 15 minutes before the scheduled ride because you're going to be having a driver's meeting before you go on the ride. So everybody needs to be ready so we can stay on schedule so we can try to deal with the congestion on the trails a lot of times that happen, especially when you're going up, up trail one. Um, that's always a very congested spot. So the rides are staggered in 15 minutes to 30 minute increments. So this hopefully will help with the congestion. All right. So, um, I, I she, she was faint, but uh, I think uh, hopefully everybody heard her. Um, where you line up is, is there is the little field right behind the main registration area. There'll be flags uh, and hopefully signs. And you want to get there at a minimum 15 minutes early, ready to go. Don't wait if you got a nine o'clock ride and uh, and say. Um, Oh no, I now have to disconnect and air down and then oh yeah, I forgot I need to go get my lunch, etc. So um there. So I see another question. Uh will there be food vendors? Aaron, can you answer this question? Will there be some food vendors there? Sure. We'll have uh two two food vendors on site. Um, one food vendor will probably be doing uh, hamburger and hot dogs um, and maybe some nachos. I think the other one's planning on doing some Mexican themed stuff too. All right. So if I'm pre registered and I have the dinner, I can use that for any of the food vendors. Is that correct? I don't have to use correct. it. Correct. Do the I have to use it for Saturday night? Or, or if, if I have my own meal Saturday, can I use it for lunch on uh, on Saturday or, or, or dinner Friday night? Sure. Um, if you have your meal ticket, you can redeem it at any time uh, throughout the day. Okay. That's good information. 
with any of the food vendor. Right. Yep. I am seeing a couple of camping questions. Um, let's see. Wendy asked how she will know where to set up her tent. She purchased primitive camping pass when she registered. Okay, so um, AOP has got a huge field when you when you come in. Um, primitive camping is basically anywhere in that big field and along the edges, and there's a road that cuts through the middle. You'll actually um, the the RV sites are along up near the uh, front of the pavilion. So you, that's not primitive camping, but anywhere in the uh, in the main field. Uh, usually, if you have some friends going, you know, the, you try to figure out who's going first, and they stake out, you know, and then okay, this is where we're going to be, and message each other because I know that uh, my club likes to likes one area, or you know, uh, this is where this is where we're going to camp up against the the field uh, and the fence line, or this is where we're going to be. Um, but if, if, but if, you know, you're welcome to go anywhere in the, uh, in the field. So, um, also you can register for camping. If you didn't earlier, you can still go back and register for camping on site. Um, so you just need to go back on where you registered and, uh, and, and we're asking just for primitive camping. We're trying to keep track of the, you know, of how many people, primitive camp because we actually have to um, pay AOP the number of people. So some people stay at hotels, some people have the RV sites, but we need to know how many people are primitive camping because, you know, AOP wants to know and we know not everybody is primitive camping. So we want to make sure that we uh, cap give them the right amount of money and we don't give them too much so we can keep these trails open because that's what we, uh, it's all about raising money to uh, keep the trails open for us. All right. Um, I'm seeing some other questions about food. So, Aaron, will the uh, food vendor take cards and cash or just cash? Well, is they possible they could be taking cards? Um, if so, we'll release that information as soon as we know it. But I would plan on carrying cash. Ooh, ah, I see a good question from Jim Sadler. Oh, okay, I was going to go Jim Sadler, but I see Justin Stanley. Will there be a Friday night shootout? Aaron, would you, will there be a Friday night shootout? Uh, yes, there will be a Friday night shootout. Um, it's going to be host by East Tennessee Four Wheel Drive. And the time for that will be our Friday night starting at uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. So the shootout hosted by East Tennessee Friday Sounds fun. Uh, will there be challenge coins available to buy on site? On site to buy. The first few people that registered get them, but we'll have some to buy. Now you see my challenge coin collection. All right. I saw a question from Jim Sadler. Is there, is there a raffle this year? Hey, Jim, I haven't spoken to you in a long time. I miss seeing y'all and your family. Uh, are y'all in Blue Ridge or y'all in Pittsburgh? And I'm going to turn this question over to Darlene. Darlene, is there going to be a raffle this year? And can you tell us what are the wonderful things that are going to be in that raffle? Yes, we're going to have a raffle this year. I have a lot of good... A lot of good things lined up. I'm only going to mention a few things because I want to leave the rest to be a surprise um, for there. But we've got Gatewood Jubilee, who does hair products along with Jeep and 4x4 products. Terraflex, of course, BF Goodrich, Rough Country, Spiderweb Shade, Bullet Point Mounting Solutions, and quite a few others. And like I said, I want to keep quite a bit as a surprise. And I just brought Chattanooga Whiskey on board. Let me say publicly on Facebook, on Facebook Live, Darlene is our best director of business development for the Southern Full Wheel Drive Association in the history of the Southern Full Wheel Drive Association. She has been phenomenal 
with working with the vendors, with the businesses, with, with everybody. So um, I am super excited about the raffle this year. I think it's going to be phenomenal and uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be fabulous. So Darlene, um, yeah, I, Hey, somebody else Thank has you. already said it. Thank you, Darlene. You are just doing great. So um, Keith wants to know if he can register at the gate. Yes, you can register at the gate if you did not uh, pre-register or you uh, you can still register now up until, uh, you know, for the next couple of days, you can still register. Well, we, we cut it off early, although um, I heard a rumor that, uh, you know, they might ask me to try to extend it some, but go ahead and register now because we need to know. But you're absolutely um, can can register at the gate. Um, so yes, we will have, we will have registration at the gate. Yes. At the gate, we can take your credit card. All right. Can we see if we can get an RV park on standby? Um, okay. So, um, there will probably not be a RV dump truck, but there is a dump spot at AOP now, and it's only five bucks. Can I sign up for guided rides on site? Pam, I'm going to let you uh, take care of this. Yes, you can sign up for a ride that got it on, on site. There is going to be a limited spot. Um, if you come upon a sheet that you're really, really wanting to go on that particular ride and it's full, you can show up to that ride and talk to the trail guide and see if they will let you join in. It is up to the trail guide. Um, we just want to make sure that they have smaller numbers and they can take care of stuff. Um, you don't want to have 20 Jeeps on one ride and the trails get congested and everything. So it's totally up to the trail guides. Okay, great. All right. I see Tim Millar. Tim Millar, hey, how are you doing? Soldier's Child was so great this, this year. Um, fabulous. I heard that Soldier's Child was also sponsoring a, a ride as well and and kids games, my favorite thing. But he wants to know, is there going to be a winch um, in the uh, in the raffle? Well, no, he wanted to know if there's a winch in the volunteer raffle. Um, Darlene, is there going to be a winch in the volunteer raffle? I am working on that. So fingers crossed. I hopefully will know this week. Okay, good. All right, we are we are trying to get a winch for the volunteer raffle. What's the earliest they can arrive at AOP? Nancy and Tim want to know that. Um, Aaron, you want to try to take that one? Registration. Um, you can arrive Thursday night. Um, your camping covers Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night. If you want to arrive earlier. Say Tuesday or Wednesday, you will need to pay the camping fee to AOP. And Kenny Ratcliffe. Hey, Kenny, how's it? I'm like, no, everybody on tonight. This is great. All my friends are online. I, you know, it's like, yay. Um, so Kenny wants to know, will AOP be open for everyone or Trail Fest only that weekend? AOP, we have rented out AOP 100% full. Um, to be at AOP that weekend, you have to be a part of Trail Fest. So you cannot come in um, to AOP without being a part of Trail Fest. So it is just us there for the, we have, we have rented the entire park for the weekend. Um, that's some of the reasons why we had to have the little extra for camping, et cetera, to try to uh, get our numbers right, et cetera. But uh, we have rented the entire park. You know, we are going, it, um, I'm looking forward to a great trail fest. I'm, I am, uh, I'm, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, so basically when you get there, um, you'll come register, you'll need to sign waivers, et cetera. You'll get, uh, an, a bag with the schedule of events. It'll have some stuff in there. Uh, it'll have your meal ticket, uh, armbands, et cetera, that you need. Um, so make sure you do that. Then, um, we'll, we'll have a merchandise booth set up where you can buy some Southern four drive swag. You can get, you know, 
your, your challenge coins, T-shirts, sweatshirts, some other uh, great Southern um, swag that you can that you can buy. Um, so there is there is that. Now um, you'll need to be tech inspected um, as well. So you'll go through tech inspection. Um, so we're we're lo- oh, what will they be looking for? Tech inspection. Um, so for tech inspection, we are going to be looking for um, your battery tied down, uh, first aid kit, fire extinguisher. So those are the big things that we're going to be looking for. Um, Tim Millar, oh, who do we check with to see if our premium membership is up to date? Uh, the person to check there is Bo Rosa. Also, um, if you are a premium member, of course, we are going to have the premium raffle. Uh, and the premium event is going to be Friday night, if I'm correct. Is that uh, is the premium member Friday night? Friday evening around six six thirty. Friday evening around six six thirty is going to be your premium uh, your premium event. So, um, I received a question too, um, Al. Can you buy extra meal tickets? I think the answer should be yes to that. If not, a question was asked ourselves. But Jay, uh, we have plenty of meal tickets available. Yes, so absolutely. If you buy extra meal tickets, buy one online uh, before the event. When you get to the gate and check in, you should be able to buy a meal ticket. And and we'll be able to take credit cards. And Kenny wants to know what time is the raffle on Saturday? Everything's gonna Saturday night. Everything's gonna kick off at seven o'clock. So um, the the festivities the the will be will be giving out the awards, giving out the raffle, uh, making all our announcements at seven o'clock on Saturday night. And that's that's what's going to be. Um, so you want to make sure you're off the trails, uh, et cetera, under the pavilion by by seven o'clock. But let, let, let's talk all serious at now. So basically, the registration um, that you pay basically covers our cost to have the event. Where Southern makes the money is the raffle. So the raffle and our sponsors and our vendors are so, so, so important. Because what Southern and what the Southern Full Wheel Drive Association does is we were one of the few associations that, that are able to give grant money to keep trails open. Um, and we're able to do that by our grant program. You can see, I mean, all over the Southeast, I mean, the big ones that we always talk about are the Daniel Boone back at your byway. We actually have a lawsuit that we're still working on, on the Daniel Boone back at your byway on 18 miles of trails uh, of road. And we have a court date going into, uh, going into this fall in October and the lawyers have estimated that it could be around thirty thousand um, uh, dollars to go to trial um, for for that. Um, so that's where some of the money goes. Um, real close to AOP, just on top of the hill, up Eric Colmont. You know, Southern has been working for years to get the Colmont OHV Park open with the city of Colmont. Uh, it's been almost a, it's been a 10 year, a 10 year project and we have uh, got Southern volunteers. They are just so fabulous. They've put in over $60,000 worth of volunteer hours. Um, and um, we also gave them a grant to help with the campground and some other stuff. To, uh, we've done some of that. We've had uh, grants at, at Winrock Park. We have helped, um, uh, a lot of different areas and, um, you know, we can't do that without the two big events, Trail Fest and Dixie Run. And I can't do that without y'all coming. And I can't do that without the sponsors. So it is so important to thank our sponsors big time when you hear them. BFG is a big one. Warren's a big one. There's a lot of big ones out there that have stepped up. Um, because they know that what we do is keep the trails open. Now, there are, there are great events out there. There are wonderful events, but we're one of the few events that's all about what we can do to keep the trails open. So we really, uh, we really need you there, and, um, and we really need, we really need uh, the, the rapid prizes. So, so thank you to the sponsors. Thank you to Darlene for, for letting everybody know, uh, you know, to – 
all the different stuff you've been able to get, but uh, I need y'all to come out. So thank you so much. Um, all right, I'm seeing a couple more questions. Uh, will there be a remote controlled car competition for the kids this year at Trail Fest? Um, so that's a good question. We had planned one, but the person in charge, I just heard, was not able to. Um, so we're scrambling at the last minute to try to figure something out. There will be kids games, but I don't know about a remote controlled car competition yet. Aaron, do you know anything extra about that? Um, as of right now, we do not have anything uh, planned for RC control cars. However, I would say if you want to bring them and the kids still want to play, there's a little spot behind the pavilion where there's plenty of space. Right, for and AOP did take out their, their, RC um, cars. Their, their RC course, but there's plenty of places to, to, to do them. They had a little RC course there, but for some reason it's not there. The last, at Soldier's Child, when I was there, it wasn't there. So, um, Lisa has a question. Darlene, uh, this is for you. Do you have a specific time you'd like vendors set up each day in a designated area? Um, this, I think uh, it's Gatewood. So I'm assuming that she's Gatewood Jubilee. So you want to make sure you get your your Jeep bling from from uh, Lisa. And uh, yeah, oh, there you go. See. So. Um, we will have an area for vendors to set up. I will be there early Thursday to help um, show that area out. Um, of course, just knowing that um, people will be out on the trails during the day and that um, there won't be any a lot of people milling around. Um, but uh, as far as times, I'll, I'll get back with you personally on that, Elisa. Um, we have a couple vendors that will be coming out Thursday evening, though, to set up to be ready for Friday morning. Right. The big busy times are in the morning and in the evening. You know, there's a lot of people are off in the day right. uh, on the trail rides. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, we you know, uh, you know, everybody can go buy their stuff. Chris has asked if they'll be able to do self-directed trail rides during Trail Fest. Um, yes, there we we have. Um, Yes, you can. If you don't want to take one of our guided trail rides, you want to ride, ride yourself. That is perfectly acceptable. You don't have to do one of our guided trail rides. Um, I, would, I would check because Pam has done a great job uh, with where the trail rides are. So you can actually check the, uh, the schedule and, uh, and see where you might want to stay away from. Is that is that somewhere? Can you can you see that if you want to see what trails you want to stay from? Pam, this was to you. I want to know where you're riding so I can stay away from you. I don't want to be behind a big group. I've tried to split up the rides to where there's not too much of an overlap. Um, but I mean, there's going to be places where you may meet up into a trail group. I mean, there's really no way around it. I'm going to have the maps laid out with that particular trail ride group so if you wanted to ride by yourself you could look at the maps and say okay i need to stay away from 91 and 92 for a couple of hours until this ride's done um i can go over here for a little while and, and come back and they should be done kind of deal okay yeah so basically you know check Check with the rides, and you can figure out uh, figure out where you want to ride, or you can just just go ride a good time. So that's that's great. Thank you, Pam. So that was what Chris. That's the same question we just had. Chris asked if he'll be able to do self directed rides. So the answer is yes. Uh, now Justin wants to know if we welcome side by sides to Trail Fest. Yes, side by sides are welcome at Trail Fest. So if you want to bring your side by side. Uh, please, please bring it. Um, we do not have a specific side-by-side -side trail ride planned for uh, Trail Fest, but if you just wait for Dixie Run, I heard rumors that we will be having a side-by-side -side only trail ride at Dixie Run. That's just a rumor. Um, so, um, 
you know, I'm not telling you to not come to Trail Fest and go to Dixie Run. I'm telling you to come to both. But uh, yes, you're welcome to bring your side by side to Trail Fest. Oh, when is Dixie Run? Oh, man, Dixie Run this year is going to be the first weekend in October. Um, that what when when it was first week in October? Come on, uh, probably first, second, third. I should know this by heart, shouldn't I? It'll be October first and October first, second, third. We're going to be at Windrock Park. We're going to be at Windrock Hollow again, and um, we are going to I that we are going to have a good time at Dixie Run. So I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to Dixie Run. So that's that's going to be fun. So Wendy asks, is if the easy trail ride on Friday will be the same route as the easy ride on Saturday? Pam. Pam, did you get that? I unmuted you, Pam. Okay. <laughs> I, just said, like, I can't unmute myself. Um. I have tried to go through and make sure that every ride is different. Um, so I don't think that I only had to use one of the stock novice trail rides once, but one that trail will be run on Friday and then again on Saturday. Um, because I wanted a little bit of diversity because I don't want somebody to sign up for say they signed up for an easy morning, and then they signed up for the easy afternoon. I don't want them to be doing the same exact trail ride. So I made sure they were on separate days. Um, so that way, you know, you get to see all of the park, and you're not saying, well, I've already been down this trail. I want to see something different. So I tried to make it to where all of them were completely different. Right. Um, where is the run going to be? It's going to be at Winrock, Winrock Park. And uh, bef uh, Al, before you post up the next question, um, I need to ask everybody on here, um, a, I, I need to beg, I need to ask. We, need, we still need volunteers, all right? So um, we need to get uh, more volunteers for... Uh, trail fest we have some spots open for merchandise registration tech inspection etc um if somebody can put the link in the in the uh chat that people can can follow that would be great but we need we need um to to get as many volunteers as possible now when, I, when you volunteer and when you work this is how you get those extra raffle tickets. We are going to have a special volunteer raffle um, just for volunteers. And for every one hour you volunteer, you get one um, ticket to go into the raffle. And, and it goes into a special bucket. You don't put it in the regular bucket. It goes in the special bucket. And, um, and then we have some special items that only the volunteers are going to get. Um, I've heard and we're working on getting a nice big winch just for the volunteers to try to win. That would be fabulous. So um, if you can volunteer, if you can give, we, we have it set for three hours segments. So, if, you know, you, if you can help on Saturday really to help sell raffle tickets, that would be great. Help sell some shirts or some bling. Um, you know, you don't want to get up there on the, uh, the, the crowded trails you ride Friday. So let me, let me help out on Saturday. That would be great. We could, we could definitely, uh, definitely use you. Um, so there, I see the, the, the link is there. So we really could use some, some help here. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, it, I mean, really depending on, on, uh, you and all that kind of stuff. I'm, of course, I like everything because I just like to see everybody and I like to see my friends from all over everywhere. Um, but, you know, working registration, you get to meet every single person because they got to come in and sign. Working tech inspection, you get to see everybody's vehicle and you get to, you know, inspect it, you know. 
and uh, you can give certain people a hard time, you know, that's <laughs> um, well, usually when I drive up for tech inspection, I hand the tech inspection guys two ice creams and I get a free pass. Um, I also um, love it when they ask to see my battery tied down and pop the hood and I open the hood and they can't find my battery because I drive a Land Rover and the battery's under the front seat. But I always pop the hood for them so they can see if they can find a battery. Um, but merchandise is fun because you get to, you know, you get to talk to everybody about, you know, their tickets and all that kind of stuff and what they can win and everybody. So, so, I mean, it's just a lot of fun um, volunteering. I enjoy it. I volunteered at every trail fest and every Dixie run since the second Dixie run I went to. So, I mean, I was trail bossing at the third Dixie run I went to 20, but I've been to 25 Dixie runs. So for the last 23 years, I've been volunteering at these events and having a wonderful time. So please, please volunteer. All right. Any other questions, Al? I'm sorry. I had to take a digress there. Hopefully we'll get at least one or two of y'all volunteering. No more questions right now. Maybe, uh, maybe some of the people on our little panel here. Have, have some, well, yeah, I have a question. Are we doing any educational stuff at Trail Fest? Oh, education. Let's see. Um, you know, right. one, of the, one of the three tenets of, of the Southern Polar Drive Association, I talked about conservation with, with, um, with, with, with all the Daniel Boone stuff. I talked about uh, recreation with Dixie Run and Trail Fest, but I didn't mention education. And we have got a great team uh, Michael Morrison, it just, it does a fabulous job. And I think, you know, he just brings Al along, you know, to, to, to look good. So Al, what do we have planned for folks for education at Trail Fest? Well, first of all, let me say thank you for saying he brings me along to look good. <laughs> that is a compliment. Okay. At, at Trail Fest, we're going to do, uh, we've got, we've got two formal uh, train and ride sessions. Uh, one on Friday and one on Saturday, where we'll get together for a few minutes uh, before the ride. Michael will go over some some educational topics. Um, he'll tell us how how we should do things when we get on the trail, and then we'll go out on the trail and he'll demonstrate actually while we're out on the trail how to do those kind of things properly. He's also going to be right before the Warren Experience ride on Friday morning. He's going to be doing a, a winching flight. So about about an hour before we go out with Warren, uh, Mike will be uh, right right there at the lineup site uh, teaching us about winching. He's also going to teach that same winching class, or at least one similar to that, right after or right before the raffle on Saturday night. So, uh, and Lady Jeeper, uh, wish Anna was on; she could talk about that. But they're going to do a uh, training workshop for just ladies they won't let us guys come i don't i don't know why but just ladies and then they're going to go out and ride uh with, with just a group of ladies so there's a good bit of educational stuff going on we did turn that stuff on for early registration and um several of the sessions are already sold out so uh, but there will be like just like with guided rides there will be some slots to sign up for the training sessions when you get to AOP um, April the 30th. Now I have, I have to tell everybody because, you know, when I first, when we first started talking about all this training stuff and all that kind of stuff, I've been, I've been four wheeling all my life. I've been in an organized, in an organization over, you know, with Southern, I've been with Southern over 25 years. I've been with George Bounty Runners over 25 years before that. I was just wheeling by myself, didn't have an organized club. And when Al started this tech net, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of people that need to learn stuff. And I didn't realize how much I was going to learn. Yes, I've been doing it for five years, but every tech net, I pick something up. Um, Michael Morrison just does a fabulous job. I don't know how he keeps it all in his head, um, but it is just, it. I, you know, I, I I still talk about the BFG tire with Charlene Bauer 
and and some of the other stuff and then you know it, i just i'm learning so much from the tech net i can't wait to see some of the education stuff going on and actually see it live and not just you know facebook live where um you know, I can, I can actually, you know, meet Michael Morrison in person and, and, and just be close to him so that some of that will ooze, some of his knowledge will ooze toward me. Right. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) And when is the next tech net? The next tech net will be this coming Thursday. Um, just go to the Southern Four-Wheel Drive Facebook page, and it's, it'll, it'll appear just like this session tonight appeared. So it'll be a live stream on Facebook. We're going to be talking about things we need to do to get ready to go to an event. A uh, trail fest, maybe, but to an event. <laughs> and uh, we're going to do that. And then the following Thursday night, which is right before trail fest, we're going to be uh, talking about uh, things that you're going to expect or trail guide to do. We're going to try to give the trail guides a little bit of information that will help things run smoother. Uh, it's important for the, the riders, the people riding in the, in the tra- on the trail to hear that too so they'll know how to react and what to expect. So, uh, two more before trail fest. Right. And if I watch and I comment with a special comment for those tires from BFG, Thank you, BFG, for sponsoring Trail uh, TechNet. When can I when can I win those tires? Well, that's the thing. BFG has sponsored our TechNet again this season. They did last season. We gave away a set of tires. This season, if you attend TechNet and you listen closely, there's a secret fa- phrase. And if you enter that secret phrase in the comments, you'll be entered to win a set of BFG tires. We're going to hold that drawing on Saturday night at Trail Fest. So uh, there'll be a there'll be a sheet of paper there with all those names on it, and the winner will be announced at Trail Fest uh, Saturday night at the main at the main route. All right. Um, that's five, five BFG tires. Five. Yeah, not four. But five. That, that last five minutes all sounded very scripted, like we planned it that way, and, and I just want everybody to know we didn't plan it. We just we just winged that right now. So. I see another question from somebody. Uh, Morgan Ashley, where will the Trail Fest t-shirts be for pickup? That's a very good question. Um, We're getting the t-shirts in early. If we get them separated and all that kind of stuff, we might be able to have them at registration. If not, they will be at the merchandise in the pavilion, and you can pick them up there. It just depends on on, – if we break open that Chattanooga whiskey that uh, Darlene got for us at the raffle. Oh, I, did I say that? <laughs> but uh, it will, it, you'll either pick it up at registration or at, uh, at the merchandise. So we will, we will have that at the merchandise. So that's what it'll be. Is, is that Pam in the dark there? <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to get people to turn the light on for me, and they decide to leave my dogs out, too. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am really looking forward to seeing everybody at uh, at Trail Fest. It's going to it's going to be a good time. Uh, I plan to have, uh, you know, I plan to have a good time. You know, and I'll be working the probably the entire time. But, you know, you can't. How can how can you say it's work when all I do is hand out ice cream? But it, it's going to be a good event. Uh, I must say, and I'm going to brag right now, that the, the, your Southern Four-Wheel Drive Association Board of Directors, I think, is the best Board of Directors that we've had. Um, we have got, we have got uh, I mean, everybody has stepped up. Aaron and uh, I just... I, I'm going to forget somebody. I didn't have my list, so I'm not going to name any names. But everybody's done a great job. I am so happy with everybody. So I don't want to. Um, I don't, wanna, don't even. I'm going to try it because you know it's like it. Good. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Y'all are y'all are um, do that. Deborah Bear, I can't wait to meet. Oh well, I can't wait to meet you. I'll, I'll give you an ice cream if I see you. 
Slowpoke, look forward to seeing everyone at Trail Fest as well. All right, yes. Um, that would be, oh, let's see, Slowpoke. Hang on, John McGee. Right. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, who's sponsoring the volunteer raffle? Who's, who's getting some raffle prizes? Is, is Tennessee mm -hmm. Off Road giving some of the raffle prizes? I don't know yeah. on the spot. He is. <laughs> he is working on that. Yes, he is. John McGee. Right. Thank you, John. I think I got that that name right. <laughs> I could have I could have just totally made somebody very mad. Call him a different name. Yes, Deborah, you get some ice cream from me. Go. Uh, you know, if you wait, you, you be patient. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes I'm giving out popsicles. Sometimes I'm giving out ice cream sandwiches. So we have been on almost an hour. I don't want to, you know, to, to uh, keep you on here way much longer. But uh, so the questions have kind of died down and stopped. And we're just talking randomly right now. Um, but Trail Fest is going to be coming up soon. Regist online registration closes you know, within the next couple of days. So if you haven't registered, please register online. Um, I know, you know, some people can't and the register gate, that's fine. We get that. I understand. It just helps us with numbers. Uh, also, um, we need volunteers. I would love to have you to volunteer. Um, if you volunteer, we have a special volunteer breakfast for you to try to, so that um, when you sign up, uh, you can come to breakfast. We will give you all the information you need to know. This is what's going on. This is what's going on. So that when you, when, when somebody comes up to you and was like, I don't know, this is my first day here. <laughs> you can, you can at least, you can't answer the question. You can, you know, our phases and you can say, Oh, go talk to the ice cream man over there. So um, we, we need you to do that. You need to uh, watch the, uh, watch the tech nets the next two weeks get in that raffle for the tires, uh, save up your money. Don't buy Bitcoin, buy raffle tickets. Um, so that, uh, you know, we can do that. Also, if you see our vendors, um, if, if you come across our vendors, you're out on the trail ride, with the vendors, you're talking to the vendors, thank the vendors. Um, you know, because without them, we can't do this. And that's how we keep the trails open. So sign up for your rides online sign up for your education if you can um register uh bring money to the event it's going to be a great raffle and um i'm thinking uh any other anybody else have any parting thoughts as we as we say good night can't wait to see everyone there see everyone there yep so are we gonna are we gonna sign off here? I see Paul says thank you, and I'm seeing some of the others. Can't wait to meet. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. I haven't, uh, I, you know, the great thing about Trail Fest is I get to see people from all over the Southeast and uh, and, and and ride with y'all and and have a good time. So uh, looking forward to seeing everybody, and uh, we'll we'll see you at uh, Trail Fest. So. Thank you so much.